Hi guys. Um, hope you guys are doing great as usual. And um, yeah, this video will probably be after my whole video, and uh, it'll be slightly personal. And I hope you guys are catching some. I don't know, like getting some cup of tea, coffee, or snacks. Not a 15 minutes video, I hope. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, yeah, because I've got, like, some things to share. I do realize that my videos on, um, I think my personal, like, my efforts, like, my own efforts, I feel like, uh, the video on the, how to, how to, uh, how to know if you're, you know, what do girls do to show that they're, you know, um, they're interested in a guy. I think, I don't know, it's a bit about love and... I just feel, I just realized that girls or guys do like to watch that kind of video because maybe it's um something like hearted or or I don't know like or even like advice videos I think it's very inspirational and it do it will do you know it will garner a lot of uh views at least and likes I think so just thought of doing a video today and I've actually written this like not even today it's like many I think that like, probably two weeks ago so. Uh, the reason why I wrote these things uh, were because was because I was um, recovering from something. I'm um, I can't really say even though even though I'm trying to be as comfortable as possible and be as honest as possible, but there are things that that just probably dark side of me. I don't really want to kind of share, but I think like ultimately ultimately I just want to share things that how I deal with. Uh, to recover from something that maybe that anyone that's watching probably be um, enlightened or finding some ways to you know deal with things that are dealing with I hope that's the whole point of me sharing because I really love to share whatever that um, that could be of help to anybody out there so yeah um, it was very hard because it's hard to know that you have a problem or it's hard to realize that you should do something about it not anybody else can tell you that it's yourself that you know you can start telling yourself that you need to recover from it and you know get better whatever it is you know getting through something or you know recovering from loss or something like that anything any kind of sadness especially in these times i believe for the uh, mass airline that you know that's that a lot of people are affected by it and um to go to go through that kind of loss is a very great and big unfortunate deal it's not something that you can really get over with like even one day or two days or weeks or months even so because like even me when I when I lost my mom it took me like I don't know like one I took off from everything like I distanced myself from everything and everyone for about one year to give myself time to accept and to um yeah even until now like i still find myself like trying to get stronger every day and try to deal with whatever i'm dealing with by myself or with you know or with the help of my family and friends so it i feel like to recover from something that you should know like a way or two to get around to it is very important so i've listed out a few things so i'm just gonna give it a start that's a very long intro um one of it is to get inspired if whatever that's inspires you you think it shouldn't be that hard if something that inspires you it should be something that makes you happy that makes you stop and say wow and hey you know you love those things for me is videos and making videos and write maybe not writing music but singing music going for karaoke that takes my mind away and you know like makes me happy and for the passion whatever passion is maybe for me like makeup and going for shopping or even like looking around or researching or finding great deals great bargains for me it's all about that and i did went through a period of rehabilitation like i do tell my friends or my colleagues that i'm going through rehabilitation not because i wanted to not like i'm checking myself really to a rehabilitation like a center but it's for me like whatever i'm doing most at one point of time, I just want to cut it off. I just want to reduce it to a minimum level because I know that is the one that makes me drown myself even more further. So I just want to stop all those things and get myself out of the situation. And 
yeah that's what that's why i think is all those things are negative so i just wanted to be in that rehab rehab state of mind at least so and also i get lots of positive quotes it's very easy to get positive quotes just click on the button google and find positive quotes it's not difficult at all but reminding yourself every day of the positive quotes is a great deal it's a very big challenge and like because it's so easy to get negative thoughts being heard and being seen you know like you see big negative things you just get it immediately to onto your hip it's very easy to change or influence your mind but uh, positive quotes and positive positive thoughts and sayings are really difficult to develop but it's something that requires lots of uh, patience and training so get it all around you whatever that's positive for you just a simple sticky note will do you know something like that so when you wake up you always see all those positive things and you will eventually you know eventually you convert yourself to be a very very positive person so all those ne negative things that, that is poured onto you it'd be easy for you to change it to positive um you know positive reflections instead so yep and uh, build yourself when i say build yourself i have no idea why i said build yourself but maybe i think um maybe build your character or build your personality whatever you think are your strengths and kind of like build it in a way like if you know that you are a very uh, passionate person whatever why are you passionate about so just build yourself and um yeah and contribute in that way maybe and read something inspirational i think my friend did uh did uh share a book from them i think uh, Jade, my friend, uh, she shared something about Demi Lovato's a book. I think recently, so I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna ask her what book, the title of the book. I'm just gonna drop it in the down bar below for you because I think that's kind of a bit inspirational as well. So and also there's a lot of other books also that are very very inspirational. That for me also um that I've read, that I read before was Ugly, by where was it? Yeah, here. ugly by Constance it's just not inspirational in a way that is very direct it's just like something that's um, kind of like there's a side to it like you got to really read and um, bring out positivity and you will see your life is really not that bad you know that's what I'm saying that's what I'm thinking so that's what I got from the book and um, I always reread that book again and again, even though I bought it like for many years ago. I keep rereading that book really. So and also to help someone. I say help someone because um every time when someone asks me for help, I kind of like always being the selfish mind of thought, like, um, you know, I think I better help myself first or you know, I don't think I'm free to help you. That's wrong. I just feel that you should change and tweak your mind to say like maybe i should just spare a few seconds or few minutes for you and you know help you and what i felt what i did was i think i turned myself around when someone dropped uh someone like the usual kind of like uh i was having my meal and um someone who was a uh, hearing impaired actually just dropped uh something a keychain for me to buy and you know some donate some money to him in unusual days, I will just say no, you know. But for that day, I think I tweak myself to turn around and say, if it's going to be 10 bucks, 5 bucks, let me just do this for him. So maybe it could help him a bit, you know, it goes a long way. So yeah, I did it. And I, I feel very great. I just feel so good of that, really. So I hope someone else saw that and they could, you know, think about it. You know, think about it. And um, to never doubt yourself, you know, whatever you do, never, never doubt yourself. Like, whatever you think you're, you know, good at and you're, you know, great at, or whatever that you contribute, never, never doubt yourself. And, um, vlog, for me it's vlog. I can vlog about anything, I love to story share, so it kind of uh, uh, makes me, I don't know, like... Not to not to put too much focus on the bad things or the things I've been trying to recover about almost like you know just to take my minds off things I think it's a it's a good idea and also to go out with your friends very important to go out with your colleagues and find people that you know you can really really uh, laugh with and get along with 
that's very important I did want to learn more video editing but it hasn't come around very fast because I don't really have very much you know good software and equipments to work with maybe some other near near time future uh, go for a marathon I'm still working on this guys it is not easy I am a no runner at all so yeah it's gonna be working very hard for that uh, go for musical uh, if there are any that you can recommend me a musical in Singapore please do recommend me and um, cook for my family more I've been trying every week two days or you know also in a week or not one week one day in a week it doesn't matter but just to cook for my family more just spend time with my family my dad and my my, my dad and my bro whatever it is just so you know just spend time with them so do my revisions this is what I did realize that I put it and I haven't done my revisions for the since the school started I'm so shocked that I actually would list that let's do my revisions it's one of the things that I should do to recover myself so but I did last week I did open my book to do my revisions and I'm so glad I made a first start you know so I'm more in tune now that I realized that it's very important to do my revisions and it's a way to take my mind off things and the way that I want to recover so yeah and uh, of course I mean you've done something good like re revising you feel like um, it comes for something that you went for something and you learn something it's it's education that you never never um, kind of like uh, treat it for granted so yeah uh, watch more comedy <laughs> I literally write this down like um, watch more comedies to have more laughs I think I kind of like forgot to um, uh, I don't know like build up more of my DVD watching I guess because like I've been dropping all those things because I was busy doing whatever and um, I just didn't take care of myself very well so I didn't watch many laughs you know, laugh shows and stuff so yeah I did borrowed a few DVD and I had great great time watching one I think like last two days ago yeah last two days ago it's really really funny it's about phone sex but not really that crazy like you know what you think but really it's really really funny uh it's kind of like underrated but yeah it's simple laughs like that you know and also uh i think that yeah i think many of many of it like i've heard like many people say that you listen to music to find inspiration or you find calmness or peaceness when you listen to music or something like that so i naturally find some music or some songs that inspirational music um, musicians saying that I think I can kind of relate and try to um, I don't know why you call it like yeah you know like I understand what she's feeling at that point of time when she's singing it I don't I don't know if they write the song but few I think very inspirational singers for me is um, Demi Lovato Rihanna and uh, even Miley Cyrus like weirdly enough I did put her I have no idea why and also Linkin Park even though that it sounds weird right Linkin Park because like I know Linkin Park does a lot of like a bit more angst and but I feel in all angst there's some honesty and I feel like at a point of time no matter what I'm trying to like recover and forget about things but it does it is to remind me that things did happen and I'm supposed to be unhappy about it I'm supposed to think that there's no way of getting me back into that situation again and seeing that it is fine or it's okay so I really kind of enjoyed you know Linkin Park songs in that aspect so yeah I've written a few and that was just that I've just ended with Linkin Park so it's a very very long video and it's only like 14 minutes gonna be 15 minutes soon so I think I better you know that is short so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video and uh give a thumbs up if you love this kind of videos too and um yep i'll see you guys soon ciao